Happy New Year, my real estate roundup homies. Thank you for hanging out with me. In this video, we're gonna talk about what percentage do you fall in? Are you in the majority, the 84%, the 12, the 4%? Where are you? Because we all fall in one of the categories, right? And how to, how to move up to a better category. And further, I wanna train you and talk to you what I found being an entrepreneur, what if you just don't know what your next step is, right? What if you don't know? Or if you already, or what if, if you're just getting started, what is your first step? What is your first step? I like to follow the numbers, follow the numbers. These numbers are gonna paint a clear picture for you and me, what your next step or first step should be. That's what we're gonna go over in this video to help you transition from 2020 to 2021 and beyond. Thank you for joining us. Let's roll. Greetings class, it's Chris Haskins with TheRealEstateRoundup.com. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. As we pass 70,000 subscribers, I am once again humbled that you allow me to pour into your life. And don't forget right now, uh, my, New Year's, my New Year's special, 40% off on all my training is going on on the website, chrishanskins.com. All of my training, everything. YouTube marketing, all my docs, text message marketing, subject to stuff, land trust, all that stuff. Head on over there and get it right now before it ends, it's just for the New Year's, right? Wow, because I love you. So let's talk about these numbers here. Man, as I was thinking about what could I talk to you this year, the first of the year, right? Got to get up in your mind a little bit. A lot of our training is on site, real estate stuff, uh, where the rubber hits the road going into these houses, up and down, four walls, roof, window, siding, flooring. All that stuff is, you know, that is good to know. Sometimes we've got to step, step back, right? The generals never plan the war on the battlefield. We got to go into the air conditioned office and just kind of hash these numbers out. So today I want to know first, where do you fall? Before I get to what you should do next, because it's, it's very clear. If you follow these numbers, you'll know exactly what to do next. Where do you fall on this category, right? Where do you fall? So let's look at this. What, what, uh, what, 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 what did this, how did this come to my mind as I'm thinking, I'm 45, I don't know your age, but generally speaking, the people that watch me are from 25 to 60, right? So I want you to think about your future because I, it wasn't until 40 that I started thinking about mine. I remember when I first got our publishing deal in 2000, I don't know, one or two, I was going through money like it was water. I thought I would always have it. Then I went broke, $80 in my pocket, living on my friend's couch. I found out that I need to get some type of knowledge in my mind in order for me to keep the money. See, you can make as much as you want. You can make money every day. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? So these statistics, these statistics that I'm reading, from Yahoo Finance says that 84% of Americans, 84% of us <clears throat> have less than 99,000 in their retirement account. And now as my daughter was putting this all together, right? She started because she's an artist. I couldn't do this, this pyramid, this, this income pyramid here, right? It's always a pyramid, right? Always a few at the top, a lot of people at the bottom, right? Just how it is. I don't want you to be here. So if you look at our graph here, right? Yahoo Finance. The first three columns here, right? The first three, 45%, let's, I'm rounding up, 19%, 12.3%, right? So the first one, 45, have nothing in retirement. That's gonna represent this whole row here, plus half of this row. All these people have nothing in retirement. The next are gonna be less than 10,000. That's 18%, that's gonna be half of this and some more up here. And then the one up is uh, 10,000 to 49,000 in their retirement, that's 12%. And that still goes all the way up until here, y'all. So 84%, as my daughter was writing these little stick men, she was like, wow, dad, this is a lot of people. I'm like, I hope that I'm helping you to rewire your brain so you're not one of these, right? So we're gonna get, get into some of the reasons why this happens too. So 84%, y'all. I do not want you to be in this category. This category, what does this look like when you turn 65 and you get older? Because what I found out is broke older people are nothing but broke young people that grew up. That's it. When do you take the time? When do you say this is the day? 
This is the time right now that I'm going to take my future seriously. For me, I had to get a, a swift kick in the rear end from losing hundreds of thousands of dollars from the mu music business. And then I said, you know what? I, all this money's come through my hand. I have nothing to show for it. Absolutely nothing but a lot of drinking, drugging, sex, and partying, popping bottles. How many bottles can you drink? But I'm, I don't even want to go there, right? So let's move up to our yellow people here. That's going to be, they are less than 499,000. And that's 12% of the population, right? So we're going to go to our yellow ones. That's going to be our fifth column here. So we've got 12% of the population has between 100 and 499,000. Do you fall here? Do you fall here? Man, as I'm looking at this, I'm like, man, this is a lot of people. It's a lot of people, right? So are you here or are you here? 4%, 3.9%. They have greater than a half a million in their retirement. That have saved for retirement, right? So why am I showing you this? Because for me, I wasn't able to save. I couldn't do here, right? I wasn't able to save it. But what I was able to do, and I'm encouraging you to, if you get real estate, your tenant can pay the houses down, pay the mortgages down, and by the time you hit 60 or 50 or whatever, as opposed to having a bunch of cash, you have income producing assets that you can then liquidate if you have to. But not only that, they're paying you monthly income, right? They're paying you. So if we look at our graph, the first four columns here are dedicated to the 84, and we, um, that 50 to 99,000. That's 7%, right? So that's maybe like right in here. I don't know. A few, a few people. Well, this is out of 100. So seven people have uh, between 50 and 99,000. I missed that one. So round up. Where do you fall? Where do you fall? And let's talk about some of the reasons people uh, fall in these categories. Uh, Yahoo Finance says, I don't make enough money to save. I'm struggling to pay my bills. A lot of that's going on. 24% of that. A lot of people think they don't make enough money. Wow. 9% uh, think I won't need retirement savings. Wow. My job doesn't offer a plan. 7%. I'm prioritizing paying down debt, which is good. And I'm using money for an emergency. You know what? My heart and I'm empathetic for people that have an emergency, right? Because I can't stop that. Somebody gets sick, a car accident, somebody uh, loses a job and they have to go access. Uh, they got to go into the savings and, and dip into that. That stuff happens. Emergencies happen. Right. So we have to plan for that. We got to plan for that. So I've got another thing. What can we do to cut out? All right. So let, let's get to the part now. What can we do to cut some of this stuff out to take us out of the 84 percent? Right. So Dan Kennedy says, by default, if you look at what the majority of people are doing, the 84 percent, which they have less than ninety nine thousand in their retirement or saved up for retirement. And this is indicative of your life, too. If you don't have anything in retirement, then that means you probably don't have anything now. Generally speaking, now I know there are one or two that bunch of cash, no retirement. That's not that's that's not the average. Right. So for me, I know it's like I needed to save for my retirement. It's just something that I had to do. I had to plan for that stuff. Right. So what can we do if we're thinking about our next step? Our next step, Chris, what do I need to do? What do I where do I go from here? If you look at the majority, Dan Kennedy says, now don't miss this. This is the magic of this video here, Roundup. If you look at the majority and they are less than 99,000, 84%, if you just say to yourself, you know what? I'm not going to do what the majority are doing. That will take you out of perhaps being in the 84%. Let me repeat that. If you just look at what most people are doing, which most, most people are broke, right? Let's think about it. If you got a hundred less than a hundred grand and you 65, you're in trouble. Your money's going to run out in a year or two. Okay. If you look at what the majority are doing and you do the opposite, you'll at least be ahead of the game. You'll at least be ahead of the game. So that's why I want to give you the mentality. You can look around, see what the majority of people are doing. And then you say, well, Chris, what are they doing? What are the, what are the majority doing? Well, I got a graph here. Let's look at this daily time spent on social networking. And I'm not mad at you if you're on social uh, social media sites, learning, making yourself better. So 2019, we spent 150 minutes on social media. What if you were just to take half of that, 
half of that and learn a new skill, learn a new trade, grow your business, meet somebody new, go out there and network with, with, a, with an internet group or right now, network with a group that is making some moves forward. They're investing, you're learning a new skill, right? So cut, my thing is time. I have learned that the wealthy and successful people, what do, what do we do with our time? We don't spend a lot of it on social media, right? We cut that out. Uh, I'm gonna go over two other things here. Another thing, average uh, time spent on, uh, average time spent in a lifetime. So we have to sleep, right? We got 26 years of sleeping. But look at this, eight years we spend roundup watching TV. What if, what if we just cut out six years of watching TV and we only spent two years uh, of, of watching TV and we spent the other six growing some type of a business? What if you just spent that time trying to get better, be a better human being, learning a new skill, go out there learning real estate or some type of entrepreneurial venture, I don't care what it is, selling some type of product or service, internet marketing maybe, cut out some of that TV, cut it out, turn it off. It ain't gonna do nothing for you guys. And then we got six years of social media, what if we just cut that in half? So I'm saying, I'm, I'm showing you these graphs here to say, Hmm, maybe I can cut off some of this stuff here. Maybe I can say, you know what? Let me cut back. Let me cut back so I'm not in the doing what. Here's the, th here's the numbers for the majority. The majority are here. That's where you're gonna end up. So if you don't know what to do, watch. I'm showing you what the majority of people are doing. Cut it out, cut it out. So a lot of that stuff, um, you can look at that at your leisure. Roundup. Take a account of the time, of the time for your days, how much you're spending on doing what tasks. I'm gonna tell you what really changed my life. Waking up at five o'clock in the morning. That joint right there really changed your boy, catapulted me. No, I don't like getting up at five. I hate it. But here's the thing I tell myself at 445 when I wake up, or when I'm kind of getting grumpy out of the bed, I'm saying to myself, I read it in a book, Chris, are you going to let other men, why sleep in the bed? Why are you sleeping in the bed and letting other men run the world? Are you gonna let other men run you or are you going to get up and you be one of the men that are that is running the world? So think about that the next time you wanna sleep in. Oh, I know my bed feels so good, right? Are you gonna let other men wake up in the morning, get out there and run you? Or will you be one of the men or women, right? Cause women run in the world too that are gonna get up and run the world, right? That's who I wanna be. That's the, what is this, 12, 16%. That's it, 16% of us. That's all, y'all. I don't want this here for you. So listen, make sure you subscribe to the channel Roundup. I love you, thank you so much. I got my block here. Like this content if it's, uh, if it's benefited you at all. And head on over to my site, right here, some other videos that are gonna help you for 2021. Um, share with any other investors or entrepreneurs that are interested in uh, growing their business in 2021. I'll see you soon. Good luck. God bless you for this new year. Take care, everybody.